Baba Talent Workshop, FTD, WU, a subsidiary of Premium Academy. Comes up with the 2024-2025 academic session of various categories of filmmaking and purpose discovery courses. The FTW over the years has been a formidable platform built by God for the advancement of his cause here on earth. This year's edition will be offering basic, advanced, and professional diploma programs in faith-based filmmaking. Come and have a date with your maker as participants do at the powerful encounter clinics and prayer quakes. The workshop is also open to children of ages 10 and above. Hurry now and enroll for the first semester of this session. Hold it between April 6 and 14, 2024. Cost fee at the entry level, which is for basic certificate, is 30,000 naira only. Children's cost fee is 15,000 naira only. This covers for tuition, accommodation, and the cost pack. Food is available for sale on campus at affordable price. Then you is LaSalle College, Haribabola, Ondo City, Ondo State, Nigeria. Yeah. Students can come with laptops, cameras, and other filmmaking gadgets if available for group projects. For more inquiry, call 0706440150 and 0816847 They have to W. We are not a mistake in this cosmos. Pastor, New information. We thank God for the journey so far as we have been blessed by the movie The Keeper. I am humbled at the testimonies that I continue to receive from my wonderful families all over the world by reason of what God is doing in their life through these movies. Listen to the following. We've had a lot of messages and comments and people saying that they do not know where we have our videos. I don't know how difficult that is though. But it's very simple. All you need to do to participate in the VG online is to come to this channel every Friday night, 12 a.m. Nigerian time. You will now have to calculate with the way it is in your respective countries. 12 a.m. Nigerian time, that is Friday stroke Saturday. Once you come here 12 a.m., you will see a live video rolling on our channel. Click on the particular VG you want to follow, which is the current VG, and follow the VGs. If you have not attended any of the VGs we have every Friday, then you are missing a lot. You can't pray alone. Let's come together and engage the corporate anointing. Thank you very much. At the same time, we also have people who have been interested in the worship section, the different, beautiful, intentional worship section before each part of the movie. And we are promising that after we get to the 15th mountain, that is the part 15 of this movie, we are going to collate all the worship section together in a video and put it on YouTube. Especially for those who want to use it to pray, those who will need it to, to as, as ring it on in their phone, those who need it to speak in tongues or what have you, is going to be on this channel when we are through with the release of the movie The Keeper. If you have more questions, counseling, prayers, 
you need to communicate the Gmail shown on your screen. And you must also be patient to receive response because there are backlogs of mails and we receive mails day in and day out. So you have to be patient with us to attend to you. But please do not send the mail to us if you are not watching the movie and participating in the video. If you say you need prayers, the prayers we can offer is what we offer at the video. Thank you very much. Are you there to support this ministry? This ministry have needs. You see it as we watch this movie over and over again. You can visit the needs section. It will show, as I'm speaking now, the ministry boards, you know, computer, I mean, computer editing systems, camera equipment, monthly pre trials for shooting of movies. God can be sending you to sponsor our movie productions. We shoot several movies every month. God can be leaning into your mind to just ask us for the budget and help us in shooting the movies. At the same time, your home can be that we you want to support our building projects. This ministry have building projects on ground that you may also want to support. You may also want to support us from time to time as a monthly patron. Please use the account details on your screen and check any of the needs that God is leading you to help. Don't forget to him that water shall be watered also himself. Thank you very much. Sorry, sir. I just need to add to the prayers he's making so that his last prayers can be complete. That was the major point of his prayer. Kept mentioning the throne of grace, throne of grace. This is the throne of grace. He has cried for mercy and help. So you cannot use his blood because it has become my blood. I only have a grandfather. Maybe you don't know. You are not seeing any son here. I'm a representative of Zion. And my work here is to bring you to judgment. My keeper, can you imagine? They said they are no longer interested in me. They want to divorce me and the kids together. Kids? Yes. They have kids for you? I love kids. What? Or do you want me to bring them for you? <laughs> Thank you, boss. Do not disturb yourself. Listen to me. Marriage is only meant for physical elements. And so, we renounce you in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, it is written that for thy maker is thy husband. The Lord of hosts is his name. The God of Israel and the Redeemer is your God. What? So what happened to Buddha? Well, for Buddha's case, uh, she's not ready to be delivered. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the first step of deliverance is that you must first of all be tired of the situation. You must be aware and must be tired and be ready to be free. It is only then Deliverance can be easy and possible. You are good, you are kind, God, you are more than deep. That's for words, trying to describe you. Elohim, Elion, Alashelewi, your greatness is on. Stop.
shade we have overcome this charge and now waited for life then you gave us a right to your holy name the scepter of power and strength there is nothing you cannot change there's no bondage you cannot break if you have said it then you will do it you have a track record of keeping your words you are not about to stop doing it now In a season of ancestral wickedness and time of altars, the destiny of great families rests on the shoulders of Christ's redemptive power through a young priest. His name, Brajan. My love, why that face? I am fine. Well, uh, is everything okay with you? Yes, everything is fine. And what have you come to do? What have I come to do? Well, uh, is there anything wrong in coming to see my wife? I am not your wife. That means my findings was true. That you are trying to back off this relationship. Enough is enough, Sal. I need to marry a physical man. Rola, what about our marriage? What about our children? They are not my children. <laughs> I don't even remember giving birth to children. Do not get so my house. We have seven. Seven good children! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven! Children together! And I said I am not interested in the relationship. If you repeat that again, then I'll eat you so hard! You want to eat me? Then go ahead! Go ahead and eat me! But listen and listen good! I am not interested in this relationship anymore! I am breaking off from this relationship. Simple and clear. Now you listen to me. You do no such thing. Well, uh, the battle line has just 
Be drunk! Like, he has never got angry with me like that before. Not to the point of eating me so hard. Hmm. I have never seen him angry like that before. Ora, it simply means your deliverance has started. Before, when they, when they are not hungry, you know, they make you feel as if they are gentle, they are good, they are hmm. harmless. But once you see them hungry like that, it's a good sign. It simply means you are no longer in good terms. Yes, it means you're already turning your back at them. You see, it's just a reflection of your spirit man. Yeah, it indicates that your spirit man is now angry about the whole situation. And that is why your spiritual husband is trying to fight back and is very, very angry. Exactly. And we even need to thank God. Thank God that Ura is not praising the spirit husband this time around. Yeah, he's not so saying that he's handsome, he's, he's cute, so. he's gentle, he's, he's harmless, he's this yeah. and that. It's Honestly, it's a good sign. It means your deliverance has started. Mm. Yeah. Then what must I do? Prayers. Yes, prayers. It's time to pray so well. It's time to travel in the place of prayer. Not the time to give. No. But he said I have to pray. See, you don't need to mind everything he's saying. You don't need to mind. You see, there are even worse cases whereby the spiritual husband will be molesting them physically and God delivered them. So you are in savants. As to some other cases I've had, the spirit husband doesn't allow women to have suitors. But mine is different. I have suitors. But any time I start cutting with them, they die mysteriously. <laughs> There won't be a problem. Yes, no problem. Everything will be right. Mm? Okay? And I'll make sure I inform the John about the best test of you. Okay. I'll just yes. tell you about them. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Please tell you. Please tell you. Please tell you. When are you going to take me to meet your parents? Hmm. Peter. Are you really sure you want to meet your parents? Why not? See, look, I am ready to meet your parents. At least I want to see the woman that begat this beauty before me. But I told you about... Oh, don't worry about that. See, don't worry about anything, okay? The thing is, I am not scared at all to meet anybody. Let us go and see them so they can know at least we are ready. We are ready. We are good to go. Well, that won't be a problem. Okay. But I'd like you to meet with some people before meeting my parents. Okay, if I may ask, who are these people? They are our neighbors. Okay. But these people are full of fire. Hmm. I would like you to meet them and possibly share some things to them. Allah. At least finally I can get to meet your parents. Look, just enjoy yourself. I mean, just enjoy yourself. Drink up. Come in. Collins. You've been indoor all day. Huh? Are you okay? What are you doing? Standing at my watch. Standing at your watch? Which one is that one again? No? See, I will stand on my watch and set myself on the tower and watch to see what you say to me. Hmm. That's from the Bible. Exactly. From the book of Abba chapter 2 verse 1. 
that's the word bro john shared with me when i told them i want to grow spiritually and i want to be called here and there for the cause of the kingdom hallelujah hmm. that's something to learn from exactly you see mom it is only watchers that see what you see god is ready to speak but only watchers we see and hear him that means destiny fulfillment mm -hmm. and calling manifestation exactly is at the mercy of waiting on the lord exactly and it must be a secluded place where there will be no distractions possibly like a rampart or a tower hey, thank you lord hey another brother john in the making under my own roof you see mom i really love that man i love him and i appreciate god for what he has been revealing to me since i took a bold and intentional step towards bible study hallelujah uh -huh. Speaking about Bible study, let me be on my way. Let me to go and read the book of Habakkuk. Habakkuk. Yeah, before you leave me. <laughs> okay, mom. All right, my lord. Ah, uh, Sister Mura, <laughs> I don't know that you are already engaged again. I am again, no. But your sister, he wants to meet my parents, so I decided I should see you first. Ah, uh, but uh, why me? If they... Take him upstairs already. Let him go and see your mother upstairs. Oh, John. You should understand. I just wish to hear from you first, based on my past experiences and what I am going through. Oh, he knows everything? Oh, to the details, sir. I mean, she told me everything, absolutely everything, without leaving anything out on. That's, that's good. And then, my brother, now yes, that sir. you know everything to the details, Am I free to ask you some questions? Very well, sir. Feel free to ask any questions. Uh, how ready are you for the battle ahead of you? By the grace of God, sir, I'm fully prepared. And I can tell you with every boldness of Christ in me that there is nothing, absolutely nothing to be afraid of. I know, sir. I know, sir. But how prepared are you how ready are you to fight the battle ahead of you? Because this battle is both a physical and a spiritual one. Well, um, by the grace of God, sir, I'm quite rich in the word of God. I'm well vast and grounded in it. See, the Bible tells me that, you know, the Lord will keep me from every evil works. And the Bible also says that, you know, a thousand shall fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall never come near me. See, the Bible also goes far to say that, to say I that. I know, sir. I knew about those beautiful promises in the Bible. I know you are rich in the world. But what about prayers? Are you also rich in prayers? Um, so by the grace of God, I can tell you that I am ready and fully prepared, sir. You see, to fight this battle with prayers. Then I pray that God will keep you. Amen. He will strengthen you. Amen. He will give you the enabling grace Amen. to fight through this battle in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. And I can assure you that we also will pray wow. along with you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank You're you. Welcome. Thank you, bro, John. I really appreciate it. You're blessed, God. I'll be taking more steps now. Oh, that's good. That's Thank good. You. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. God. Told you, I brought my husband to meet you for the first time. Hura, when? When are you going to stop being a murderer? 
Have you forgotten every man you bring to this house to marry? You end up killing them. Mom, I'm not a murderer. I'm not the one killing them. Mm. You're not a murderer. You're not the one killing them. Have you forgotten the number of innocent souls of young men you have wasted? Eh? Mobin I know you don't want to die. Abi, do you want to die? I shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord. I, I can assure you, Ma, that I will be the one to stop this evil occurrences in this family. No, you won't be able to stop it. Abogo, because I personally will not allow you to stop it. Benny, she is married and she is aware of that because she has seven children for her husband. Ma, with all due respect, Ma, where is her husband? And I would like to meet him. You cannot meet her husband. In fact, you cannot see her husband. She is the only one that can see her husband. Do you understand? I am renouncing that end marriage in Jesus' name. Amen. You see, uh, Mommy, I can assure you that God will surely intervene. We'll get married and together we'll have children. Bravo. Get up. Yes, okay. Get up! Get out of the house! Get out of my house! Mom, uh, at least I'm happy to have met you now. And I can assure you that by the grace of God, all those problems will be over in Jesus' name. Amen. Get out now, before I lose my temper. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, lie again. Have a nice day. Such confidence! Get out of the house! I beg, baby. You know, baby. Baby, I come. Yes, come in. You see, never mind. It is bound to happen. You see, there are always expected reactions for every action taking place. Keep praying, though. You see, what really baffles me in this whole situation is her attitude towards it. It seems as though she has her hand in it. <laughs> she does. <laughs> she does. It's obvious hearing the whole conversation. Mm -hmm. Don't stop praying, though. Just keep praying. And I pray that when you pray, God will give you revelation about what is happening. He will reveal the whole situation to you. Because if there are no revelation, there are no results. Mm. If there are no revelations, there are no results. Yeah, that's deep. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bro John, what about Bro Jude and Mommy? Yeah, they went out together, they soon back. Alright. We'll be on our way now. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Thank you. It is well. How are you? Yes, I'm back. I told you I won't take time out there now. I hope you are hearing from mommy now. <laughs> Daddy is fine, but for mom, story for another day. I just saw sister Bura and the man. Is that a new man? Yeah, that's a new man. Hey, she's in case again. It was a serious deal between her man <laughs> when the mother sighted the man upstairs. Is that man ready for battle at all? The sister Bura telling him about her home predicament. She did, and the man seems to be ready. I think he, he seems to be on fire. I pray God helps them. What about Bro Judah, Mom? They went out, they will soon be back. Oh, Bro I miss you. So, what's up, really? Brother? God bless you. Welcome. Rhoda! 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 Hello. You are welcome. Good morning. Nothing in my face looks good. I am here to send it to your daughter. Warn her and talk to her. Tell her not to break the marriage covenant. Because if she tries it, she dies and join me in the underworld. 
Oh, Salu. Don't be offended now. Eh? Don't be angry with her. See, I have always defended your rights. And I will continue to do so. Please, give her time. Rhoda, one not very well. And if the man likes himself, tell him to stay clean. Or else, he dies. Uh -uh. You can do to him the way you did to others. Kill him. What use is the man's importance to us? Remember, I am the only son of the princess of the Marari kingdom. Yes, I remember. I'll talk to her. My mind is made up. I am no longer interested in dating a spirit. Ah, fine. When he was alive, we were in love and he really took care of me. But now he is dead. Ah, uh ah, -uh. why will you be forcing me to be in a relationship with the dead? Bura. Bura. Were you not at his funeral? Where were you when you were promising love and affection uh, to the man at his death, the, the death stone? Eh? Where were you when he was coming every night to sleep with you till you had seven children? Answer me, Bura. For you, Baja, shall I? Where? Where? I am in the bondage of your deceit. I am depraved. Ah, uh, I don't know what I was doing there, but now I know. I am no more interested in dating a spirit. Mom, marriage is meant for two physical entities. You will marry him. You don't have a choice. It is over my dead body that you will not marry that guy. Oh, and she will marry where you are dead. Yes, she will marry where you are dead. Ah, uh -uh, woman, what's your problem? What's wrong with you? Oh, if there is anything we need to know about this matter, please help us now. I mean, why will you be frustrating your only daughter this way? Are you normal? She was, she was okay. Who called you into this issue? She was okay. You just barge into people's house and you'll be saying nonsense. Mind your business with this woman. Mind your business. Madam, it is our business. <sighs> we are mothers. And it's your own kind of mother that I'm seeing for the first time. That is keeping her daughter in captivity. Ebele we in Yoro. Hmm. Ele. In both of us, who is Yoro? Ah. I, 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 my own son had a problem, and I stood by him oh, till he got his freedom. Oh, so your own daughter is here. Oh, Mweni. You wanted to, and you did. Ah. You know what? Enough is enough. We're going to fight this. Yes. To the very end. Hey. To the very end. Pura. Let's go. Let's go. Ah. Uh Ele. -uh. Seriously? Wura! Wura! Please subscribe. She's well. Hmm? Wura, she's well. Hmm? She's well. Ah! 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 Wura! This calls for serious prayers. Yes. Are you ready? I'm ready. This frustration is too much. It's too much. I need to have peace in my life at least for once. No, I'm doing in prayers. And God will answer. He will Amen. answer the prayers. Amen. Please do. I am fed up of the whole situation. For the past 30 days now, I've been seeing him in my dream, even physically. Looking at me angrily with some of the God rejected children he claimed I have for him. Oh, forget about those lines. Forget those lies. Yes. Ah, you will be delivered. Amen. Amen. That is a short thing. Amen. Oh, as a matter of fact, you are delivered. Amen. Amen. In the, In the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Your deliverance is permanent. Amen. Amen. What I still don't understand about our mother is why she will allow her only daughter. Marry a spirit. Exactly. Or is she a witch? You are still asking. She must be a witch. She must be a witch now because what sort of rubbish is that? Imagine. I really pity the man that wants to marry her. I hope he can pray. Of course, yes. He should be able to pray because he knows where he's coming. If he cannot pray, we have problem. He should be able to pray. Roger, are you not saying anything? <laughs> She's saying the hand. I'm just looking at the complications in her case. And how is that? Because <laughs> with the way things are, it looks like the mother has betrothed her to a spirit husband. 
so if it has a connection with marine, then it means it's not about the spirit husband alone. No. How? I'm still confused. How? It only means that she must first be delivered from the hands of a spiritual husband, after which she will need another powerful deliverance from that demonic deposit, marine deposit in her. I tell you guys, uh, sincerely, it's a complicated issue. Mm. But how can we help this situation? Our no, question is, does God want us to help the situation? <laughs> Don't forget too fast. If you fight another man's battle, you will carry another man's bruise. Huh? <laughs> oh. Lami. Ayomi. Ifemi. Enibiokomi. The mother of my unborn children. You see, it seems as though I've never met any woman in my entire life. You are all that my heart yearns for. You know what God did for me? God looked at me in his infinite mercies and preserved you as a wife for me. Urala, it seems as though you have brought me some things up. My love for you has exposed it. What's the challenge? What's going on? I am afraid. Afraid? I am not happy at all. See, a lot of fears and uncertainties surround me. But that should not be. That should not be. You should be joyful. This, I mean, this right here, is the joy of every woman. But unfortunately, I am not joyful. Because there is still an intruder. Who is the intruder? The intruder is here. How dare you call me an intruder? Because that is exactly what you are. Young man, shut up your mouth. I repeat, shut up your mouth. If I shut it up for you, you will do no such thing. You are way too small to shut my mouth. Listen to me. What do you want? You snatcher! Wife snatcher! Peter! What exactly? I do with my wife. I am not your wife. And I will never be. Poor Ola, darling. Do not listen to this fool. We are married by covenant, remember? Poor Ola, I deflowered you. And it is not going to be possible for you to marry any man again. You lie. I renounce you and those children. I am going to get married to my God's given husband in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, then be ready to mourn him. Because like I killed others, he's going to die. You lie. I shall not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord in the land of living. This man is very brutal. Don't worry. Are you sure? You can give up now! If I take the light out of you, no! I won't give up! <laughs> Brother, he 
guys tonight yeah <gasps> Jesus, what is this? Jesus, Jesus. Blood. That man was so brutal. And energetic. Eh? You need to see the way he, he beat and bust the out of me. In fact, I'm, I'm, I still feel pains in my body. You can see what I'm saying. Please, where is mommy? Um, Sister Ura, please calm down. Calm down. Mommy is not around. Um, she went to work. Um, bro, Peter the fighter. What has happened? We fought each other so much. Oh, you fought him back? Good. That's very, very good. So, who won the fight? Jesus won the battle. Jesus. Jesus won. Was Jesus present in the dream or there is something you are not telling us, Bro Peter? I meant Jesus already won the battle. <sighs> yeah, we know. We know. But I meant who won the fight you fought in your dreams? Um, see, actually, after the fight, yeah, yeah and there, yeah. what happened is that um, he actually, he actually, he actually overpowered him. <sighs> in fact, he even stabbed him in that <sighs> dream, up to the extent that blood came out of the body. You can see it from his face. Hi, <sighs> bro, Peter, how are you doing? How many blows and uppercuts did you receive in your dream? Bro, John, what? You guys had your time for questioning. Bro, there is need for reinforcement. I tell you, the battle ahead of you is not smiling. Thank God for his mercies. If not, you would have screamed out and passed out just like that. Bro, John, sir. Like I said the other day, I said I was ready. You know, I, I read the Bible and I also pray. Sure. My brother, there is a level of fire in you. Because if not, you will not have the courage to face that demon. The fact that you are able to face that demon shows there is a level of fire in you. Only that you are not just equipped to the version that can overpower the demon. Um, I think what you need now is more knowledge and revelation, sir. Um, see, we are not castigating the fact that you know much about the Bible. Yes, you know very well. But, sir, you need more light to the end to win this battle. In this kingdom, we rise by the instant of light. <laughs> not just light, sir, but illumination that is enough to clear the magnitude of darkness mm -hmm. surrounding you and your life, sir. You see, bro John, honestly, I must say that um, I'm really fed. I'm getting a lot of things. The thing is, you know, I read the Bible so much, but I don't pray really. I, I like studying the Bible, but I don't spend quality time praying. You see, my brother, you will have a lot of revelation and spiritual insight when you study the Bible. But it is in prayers that we become the things that we study. Mm. It is in prayer that our countenance and version changes. So with all this now, what are we to do? Invest in prayers. Collins, 
Collins. 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 Just waiting and watching, just to get at least a word from you. Collins, I like your passion, look. So you mean you've been on this since Rajon discussed with us about Abakok chapter 2? I really want to be a battle as for God. Hmm. I've faced a lot of things in the hands of the devil. Now it is time to be a devil. Collins. Then what now happened? Continue. While I was praying with my eyes opened, I suddenly began to see blue visions. I even tried to clean up my eyes, but no changes. And immediately, something I cannot explain struck me, and I went unconscious. That's why I can't remember. This looks like an encounter. Mm, more like an impartation. You see, we cannot really see what has happened to you. Ah. Uh, this dropper is here. I was actually just dropping. Congratulations. Congratulations. I really love your spirit. Mm, sincerely, I love you. The way you chase after things that you want. You see, that's just, um, uh, you know. So get set for the real encounter. The Lord is actually training you. Mm, he's building you. You see, what you had, you know, is more like an angelic encounter. It's only that, you know, sometimes one must be asleep or in an unconscious state in order to open our spiritual sense for we to see them when they come. Does that mean they cannot be physically seen? Of course, they can. But you see, it's a spiritual growth process. You know, there is a level of maturity in the spirits that one must go to to be able to see angels. Because you see, angels, they, they appear powerfully. They come with a personal that is terrific. And that's why each time they come, they normally issue a disclaimer, fear not, or do not be afraid. Yeah, because they come in a personal that, you know, can make one scared each time they appear. Sometimes they come in splashes, they can come in splashes, some flashes. All those flashes that happen, fluorescent flashes, you will think it's just something, they are, they are all angelic uh, manifestations. I pray for such encounter. Mm -hmm. So, what do I do next? You see, Collins, whatever might have happened today, we don't know. Whatever you saw, we don't know. But just make sure that you fan it into flames. So that when you fan it into flames, you will begin to see the manifestation, the delivery of the encounter you had earlier. Because you see, impartations, encounters, in itself are useless if it is not physically felt. Mm. I should just pray. Bro John, no, no. Please, please, can you give me another word or probably another Bible verse of this fanning to flame? Second Timothy 1 verse 6. For this reason, I remind you to fan into flames the gift of God which is in you. The gift that is in you through the laying of hands. Now, it is not only the laying of hands that you find into flames or the prophetic words or the encounter. But you see, any spiritual manifestation that you see that does not look natural, you are expected to build more by fanning that into flame so that the result and manifestation will not just be spiritual, 
but it can be birthed out in the physical realm. Yes, come in. Oh, ah, Mrs. Florence. I was not expecting to see you again today since you said you needed to see the doctor. <sighs> yes, I was even not to rest you. I forgot God that my attention is needed, so I need to come. Uh -huh. But we believe him. After I've attended to him. Oga, is he back? Yes, he is. You don't know? Oh, I didn't know. You know, <laughs> we've have entered my, my cubicle. <laughs> I don't need to be moving out as get again and just stay on my own lane. So how is your health now? Just be praying for me. Oh. I need to run. Oh, okay, it's alright. We'll see and talk much more later. Eh? Sorry, it is well with you. your meals. You have not been eating. Oh. I've been eating, ma. It is just that I eat only at night. Why are you eating at night? Um, I've been fasting, so I break my fast every evening. So you waste your breakfast and lunch? I believe there are more, right? No, why didn't you tell me that you wanted to start a fast and you let me waste my energy cooking? Uh, I'm sorry, ma, because I know you may not allow me and I need it. I need it more. <laughs> okay, well, can you tell me why you are fasting? And how, how long is this fast? I don't get it. What is happening? Please talk. Today is my trip today, ma, and I'm going for 21 days. Eh? Because you want to kill me? Or you want to kill yourself? No, what are you fasting for? I want God to use me. Hey, <laughs> you want God to use you? And that's why you are fasting? Yes. You are too young for this. Hmm? You are too young for this fasting. Mom, mm -hmm. is it too young to fast or too young to be used of God? Which of the two? Too young. Too fast. Hey! Mom, mm -hmm. how can an 18 years old boy be young to fast? You see, Mom, any youth at the age of 18 who does not have a fast system is a joker. I mean, a real one. But God is using you. How? Mom, he hasn't started. And the fact is, Something must use a man, either God or anti-God system. Something must have influence on the heart of a man. 
So if we don't quickly accept the influence of God for Christ's use, the other master will take hold of one's destiny. Hmm. Collins. Wow. You are right. And I must tell you that I am challenged. I'm really challenged and I'm proud of you. Hmm? You know what? To give you my support, I'll join you in this fast. Yes. I should not be the only one eating the whole food in this house. So for the remaining days of your fast, I'll join you. There's power in corporate anointing. Mom. Hmm? Mom. Are you for I am 100% real. <laughs> I'm proud of you. That's good. Thank you, Mom. You know, no, Mom, Mom. Thank you very much. Leave it. I will clear the plates and clean all the room. Right. Thank you, Mom. What do you want? What are you doing here? What do I want? Is that the question at all? What am I doing with my wife? I am not your wife. I am a new creature. Urola, I miss you and I need you. Hmm. You must be joking. That won't happen anymore. Then you must be stupid for that statement. Because right now and right away, I will do it and I no, need no, you. No, no, no! Because oh, happen again, no. I must do it! No, 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 no! Oh, no, no, not again! Am I not a new creature in Christ? Oh Jesus, help me, help me. I am tired. Oh. Who's that? Who is that? Again. But this time around, he came to sleep with me. He raped me. Ah. Hey. This is not good enough. Oh. Ah. This is not too good. But just like John said, this issue is complicated. I am frustrated. I am getting frustrated. Oh, no, no. no. But I'm losing my mind. No. Ura. You don't need to give yourself a headache over this issue, okay? How would you I want? just hope I will not lose the Peter again. Oh, God forbid. God forbid. There won't be any problem. There won't be any problem. Mm -hmm. In fact, as we are talking, I'm receiving some prayers okay. in my spirit now. And I want us to pray. Okay. Are you really ready to I'm pray? Ready. I'm ready. Yes. You are going to pray. Every semen of spiritual husband. Every semen of spiritual husband. In my body. In my body. I flush you out. I flush you out. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of in Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Who are not praying? Every semen of spiritual, spiritual husband. I flush you out. I flush you out. By the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, in Jesus' name we are still praying. We are going to pray. You will say fire of God. 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 My foundation. Go to my foundation. Go to my foundation. Go to my foundation. Go to my every connection. I consume every connection. Every connection that is connecting you with the spirit. Every connection that is connecting you with the spirit. Fire of God. 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 F
I don't know much, mom, but the little I can say is that if Sister Wola has to be totally free, mm-hmm. there's something her mother must say. Mm. Believe me, mom. Something her mother must say. True. That's very true. If Wola deliverance will be complete, I'm afraid there is there's something that a uh, mother must tell us. I heard. I said it. I thought as much. Eh? Didn't you see the way she screamed the other time we all grew? We had everything. But we are not too surprised about this. You see, the fact that that woman does not want our only daughter to bring in a man is a signal. You see, what it has to do with uh, the EU spiritual spouses. When the parents' concerned are sad about the situation and they really want physical marriage to occur, then prayer can be channeled towards the victim. Mm. But when parents are in support of the incubus and they are seriously against physical marriage, then it means there's a parental involvement that needs to be dealt with. Okay. So, in that case, what can we do in our own little way to help them? Ah. You are the one who you are the one that will do it too. Maybe, John. Yes, maybe you will support with your mommy Collins. You know, we are guys. And this deliverance involves an elderly woman and a daughter. Yeah, exactly, but John. I'm saying the right thing. In fact, you are just you are just talking my mind, sincerely speaking. You see, mommy, what we can just do from our end here is just to support you with prayers. And that we shall definitely do. Ask her <sighs> some questions. Ask her how she gave birth to Wura. Because even if I don't know much, I know there's a connection with marine spirit. Yeah? Okay. Ah, marine spirit. John, I don't think, this is a serious I issue. I don't think this should be a surprise because I already said it that it's a complicated issue. Let's, Mommy Wura, tell us the sacrifice that brought Wura, who will not know what to raise. To that woman, she's too stubborn. Do you think she will talk? Hmm. Hmm. If you go with an authority, she will talk. When fire fall on her, she will talk. Hmm. Hello, bro, Peter. Good morning. How was your night? Well, I had no night. I prayed and commanded all through. But I can tell you one thing for sure, that I have joy and peace within me. You have peace and joy within? But how come? How come I have the opposite? What I feel right inside me now is mad and sadness. I feel afflicted. Then, Sister Wola, then pray. You see, the Bible says in James 5.13, it says, Is there anyone among you who is afflicted? Let him pray. You see, Sister Wola, you need to create time to pray beyond the time we spend together. You need to pray personally. But I pray. I do take time to pray. The Bible says, Pray until your joy is full. Okay. I've had you. I'll continue to pray. Well, uh, that's okay. See, after my prayers this morning, yeah, the Lord impressed the verse in my heart. And it's found in the book of Exodus, chapter 14, and verse 13. It says, Do not be afraid, stand firm, and you will see the deliverance the Lord will bring to you today. The Egyptians that you see today, you will see them no more. Hmm. I Amen. I receive it, I believe it, and I confess it, especially the Egyptians' part, that I will see again no more forever. Well, that's the word of God to us this time, and to everyone going through this kind of a predicament. Mm, thank you. Thank you for the time you have gone to us. You're welcome. It's well. We'll get to talk later, okay? Thank you, Fisher. God bless you. We 
пизде. Пизде он сиди сам This is a prayer of enforcement. We need to back up our mothers who have gone to perform a serious deliverance program. You know, when people go to the battlefield to fight, there's always time when the battle is fierce and raging. You hear, back up, back up, back up. We are the back up now. They have gone there to pray. We need to back them up with our prayers of reinforcement. That God should confirm the works with signs for the feet. So therefore, we're going to pray in the spirit. We're going to pray that God will back them up. And the work they have got to do there shall be successful. We are going to obey them by the kind of after we say for a while, I got an information about a woman in Portacot. I was told she has a special ministry for people who were waiting, especially women. So I went there for prayers. Mm. And so, how are the prayers conducted? Oh, it, it was conducted at the bank of the river, which was close to our church. I bathed and drank from the same river. And afterwards, I danced for joy around the river for seven days. Mommy, where is the name of the river, Ma? 
Mar Marari, yes, Marari. Yes. Marari River. Let me call it. How do you know? He's calling me. So he has the gift of vision. He's, he saw it in a vision. I took him that same one. And a few days after I delivered, she asked that I bring my daughter for dedication at her church. So we went. That was when I learned about the unexpected. <laughs> the unexpected? So, what was that? Tell us. She said, my baby was a special child and must be dedicated to her son. Her son? Yes. I never knew the marriage ceremony had been conducted with her son. Shortly after we got back, the son started visiting my baby. He bought her gifts, showered her with a lot of love and affection. And this got my husband angry. Mm. My husband fought with him and sent him away. Mm. But not long after, my husband died. Ah. Jesus. This is serious. Mm. Ah, this is serious. The boy too died afterwards. Then the mother insisted we bring my baby for the burial ceremony. Which we did. A few months after, mm. the woman too died. Mm. After all this, mm. I never knew the son was a parent to my daughter in her dreams. Started sleeping with her too. She had seven children. This is serious, so. So, Mommy Buddha, what is the solution? And well, let me ask this question. Why then are you bent on your daughter not marrying a physical man? No, no. I find I not want my daughter to marry a physical man. Ah. It is my desire that she gets married and even have our own children. Mm -hmm. ah. hey, hey, this, this is this is strange, yo. This is strange. As in, like seriously? Are you, are you sure? No. She cannot get married. Yes, she will marry. Yes. She will marry a physical man. Amen. Therefore, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Amen. No! It is a covenant. It is a sacrifice. And the covenant is broken now. Yes, it is. By the covenant of the blood of Jesus. Amen. I mean the covenant of the eternal covenant Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. No! I am Princess Marari from the Marine Kingdom. She is married to my son! No! I reject it! Isaiah chapter 54 verse 5 says, For my maker is my husband. The only one of Israel is my redeemer. I am redeemed. Shut up! Shut your mouth! You betrayer! Now I command you spirit of mm -hmm. marriage. Yes. You marry spirit. Yes. Now I command you to get out of this place. Get out of us! Where do you want me to go? To the swine or to the sea or wherever. In the name of Jesus. Are you blind? Can't you see there's no fear on the air? Then go to hell! No! 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 I'm not going to be 
Jesus has won the battle. Amen. I tell you guys, Jesus has won the battle. Amen. Amen. Find rest. Find rest. Thank you, Jesus. God. Hey, hey, things are really happening. My sister, ah, hey. Hey. happening is an understatement. But hey. we thank God for, for the deliverance. We thank God, thank for, God. for the victory. Victory thank at God. last. Thank God. Hallelujah. Hey. Ah, but sincerely, mommy Collins, hmm? something happened upstairs that baffled me. What? Ah, you said your son Collins told you the exact hmm. river that mommy hmm. would have visited at Potter Court. Hmm. Ah, as in, how did he get to know? <laughs> he beats me too. Yeah. He just woke up and told me that he had a revelation, a vision that he saw. Mommy Bura kneeling in front of a fat woman, and the fat woman gave a Mommy Bura a child. Wow. And then later, she collected the child, and the child, she, I think she later handed over the child to a young man. <sighs> that was what he told me. So when um, Mommy Bura was seeing it upstairs, it was very similar. I know now, and the story is similar. I see. The story is the same. Honestly, I'm just wondering how he got to know. Ah, his vision, though. <laughs> These days, if Collins just close his eyes like this, you say he has seen something. <laughs> I think it's a gift from God now. Gift of vision. Yes. Interesting. I was even planning that he would go and speak to Brother John about it. Wow. So that they can direct him. <laughs> Interesting. So mm -hmm. Collins now see things. <laughs> My sister. I'm so sure John will be so happy to hear hey, that. It, it, it baffles me. You know when you take your child to Jesus, that uh, help me to repair this child like Jesus now over. Overdue, that's over one of his names. Yeah, over, My over sister, true. God bless you. It is I'm well, oh. Jesus, permanent in Jesus. Amen. Please. please subscribe. This is a testimony. You see, Ura, sincerely, you can't tell how much joy you have within me now. I really must thank you, Provita, for staying with me in this battle. A lot of brothers will have run their life. Well, that is because, you see, most of them do not prevent the battle ahead. You must be ready for battles at all times. And you see, this situation has really taught me a lot, a lot. My mother can't wait to see you. She has been asking when I'll bring you home. But why can't you tell her? I've been there once, even though she was just tied to me. Oh, my mother does not know you came home. Let's just thank God for deliverance. So when are you coming now? Well, um, I'll come as soon as possible. And most importantly, I'm also come to appreciate bro John and his other guys. I must tell you, those guys are so real. I don't think I have ever seen several people like those brothers. They are just an inspiration. And in fact, we owe them a lot as God blesses us. Well, I think I'm led to so into their life, you know, just to appreciate all that they do for God. Wow, that's so thoughtful of you. Oh. Okay, okay. Um, take care of yourself, okay? Um, we'll talk later then. Thank you. I need to run. <laughs> That's the gift of revelation in you, Collins. A great gift of revelation. I think the Lord is trying to say how a gift in you. Bro, Collins. Anointed, bro, Collins. Please, that's, that's me small out of the anointing. He's done that. <laughs> yeah. Bro, Jude. Philip. Bro, John. I must appreciate you all. 
you all took a larger spare to make deliver process. <laughs> if not, I will still be under the influence of those demonic powers. Oh, glory to God. This people are calling us the anointed man. Oh, glory to God. Um, I just pray that God will release more of his graces into your life in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Ah, just like I said the other day, colors, fan it into flames. You see, um, many people normally have dreams like that. And um, when they wake up, they forget. But in your own case, it's different. You can remember your dreams. Anything that you don't use and maintain will go stale. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you have the gift to remember your dreams vividly, then fan it into flames. That's what you must do. Mm, but, Bro John, what must such people do? Well, you see, the plan of the devil is to steal sensitive parts of one's dream. Because your dream is a pointer to your destiny. Mm. So the devil does not want you to have a full glimpse of the revelation that God has given to you. So such people that don't want to forget their dreams should not live a life of sin and should pray fervently that God should help them mm. and make them remember their dreams. One could even pray against the spirit of dreams forgetfulness. Yeah, dream forgetfulness, yeah, that's true. Thank you very much, bro, John. Don't thank me. <laughs> we are nothing of ourselves mm. except that the grace of God is upon our lives. Anointed brother. You stop that. See, you know, the spirit embarrassed me the last time I came. And I promised it to come back stronger. So that has been my TV. Please be fast. And you start mentioning another name. Okay. Ash to Yes, Ash to it. Okay. What have you given? I had more spiritual insights to the issues of my family. I got delivered. My dad got saved. I had encountered a lot of revelations through the teaching of this man. Jude, <laughs> now you can now see what Jesus took, how he carried our guilt. That's why we are men. <laughs> Look at the way Jesus carried our guilt, overlooked them, and all that. And that's the reason why Jesus Christ came to even die. Who was the way forward now? Deliverance. Yes, my keeper. I just concluded redefining it so that we can invoke the spirit of poverty upon that family. I'm bringing it to you so that you can enact it. For worse, trying to describe you. Elohim, Elion, Ale Shelewi. Your greatness is all I see. There is nothing you cannot do. There's no mountain you cannot move. If you have said it, Break. If you have 
said it, then you were doing. You have a track record of keeping your words. You are not about to stop doing it now. Show for